we are together. We are together. The joy of creating units. The tremendous joy of becoming a being, not a person, not a human, a human being. Standing in a new paradigm. Walking as the new paradigm. There is nothing else. Nothing. That each one dares to step in the unknown. What's happening on the planet right now is not a reset, it's not a re-anything, because the planet has never known this. You may feel dizzy, you may feel you need to lay down, Prepare yourself for solid inside. Your body is going to change. Your chemistry is going to change. Your DNA is going to unravel itself. Due to that, be careful. Due to that intensity. of cosmic energy happening. What's coming is gorgeous, is beyond beautiful. Naturally, it depends on all of you. Whatever is on this planet, whatever is coming on this planet, whatever is happening to this planet, It's all about you. The consciousness that you carry is what's going to shift this planet from this level to this level. And it's time for a destiny to be so. The awakening of the planet itself. Meaning the awakening of all. The spiritual path is not an entertainment anymore. For those who take it as an entertainment, I've seen this in the country for years. Or you are being transformed in a very high level, randomly, and then of course it will be painful for you, because you won't understand anything. Or you merge with spirit and enter the path with spirit and stop functioning as someone from the old paradigm. Many of you have been on this planet many, 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 many times. I can speak of thousands. Started a path and then turn your back. This is different now. You will have to take ownership of your spirit. The spirit dwells within you. And if you don't, it will experience itself. It will open itself and it will be brutal. Who understand that? This or this? Oh, thank you. Well, let's see. Self-confidence. This is kind of incarnation is exceptional. Don't take it for granted. Please don't. Open up. 
open yourself to yourself. It's not about the masters, it's not about the ascended masters, it's not about the gurus, it's about you. Awareness. The first quality is awareness. Awareness of what? Awareness of your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, your action. That's what's required for you. In this awareness, you will realize how much you judge yourself and others. This is when you know you are still in the old paradigm. The key to the new human is love. And when I say love, it has become so ordinary on this planet, in the Western culture more. You love everything. You love shoes, you love this, you love that. No, that's not what I'm speaking of. The love that transform you, transform your neighbor, transform your family. Where you stand up, as a master. Where through your awareness, you start to really move into mastery. Master. Mastery of what? Of my thoughts. My feelings. to go all the way to ask myself, what is it that I am? What is it? This is the key question. And start to embody that with your physical form. Tomorrow I will speak a lot about your intelligent body. Because now my last week work started new assignment of bringing new energies as soul on planet Earth, where none of them will forget what they've learned before, so that they can step in a different place on this planet, for a different society, different civilization. Truth. And these new energies, this soul who will be taking birth, they will be their own cellular medicine doctor. That's what we are programming right now. And I'm sharing with you, I'm teaching you, I'm bringing to your awareness everything about intelligent body. Heal yourself with your intelligent body. Stop depending on medication. And I will use this moment, I will repeat it again tomorrow, that those who take medicine start to go towards microdosing because your body will not need the same amount of medicine. Speak to your, the specialist because your physiology is shifting. Your cellular structure is shifting. Even more this coming weekend. Your organ, whether it's size or the, the way where they are, they are all going to shift. Because the frequency that you're bringing into the matter is way, way high. A diseaseless planet, that's the work for us. Awakening and of consciousness, enlightenment of consciousness, awakening of matter, of cellular structure, enlightenment, 
of cellular structure, activation of DNA, the quantum DNA within you, so that there's more, I will use a French word, how it's pronounced in English, I have no idea, plus efficace. You understand that? If he can't snow? All right. Not the same vibration, but yes. <laughs> because for now, your DNA is functioning at that level. This weekend, I intend to take you even 10 inches. Even if it doesn't hold after you leave from here, it will be in your storage room, in your akash, in your field, and maybe slowly it will be in a different place. So you take action with more awareness of light, of consciousness. Of consciousness. Start to be a master of consciousness with love. Why with love? Why we will insist on that inner love? Not love for you I'm speaking of, the love that is impeccable inside. Not relationship love. The same love that's in you, that's in source, inside of you. This love is going to transform everything, transmute everything take you from this level to this level of consciousness. So start for yourself. Dare to think and to say, I am an embodiment of love. I am an embodiment of love. Is that possible for you? Say to yourself, think it, feel it. I'm speaking of the love that Jesus spoke a thousand years ago. Where is it today? How many churches do we have? The love is still not here. This is the love I'm speaking of. Not the attachment love. That's human love. No. It, one day it's okay, one day it's not okay, one day we love, one day we don't love. No, 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 no. I'm speaking of a love which is eternal from this moment on until you cross the bridge through the ascension of your consciousness. The ascension of your consciousness. Everything comes from consciousness. Whether it's a star, whether it's a planet, whether it's a flower, whether it's this body, everything comes from consciousness. Raise the frequency of this consciousness now. This is called the work. Your incarnation is precious. Don't wait for the last day as I teach in Journey Profound Healing. Don't wait in the last moment, not the last day. The last moment when you are leaving your mortal corpse, then you say, Oh, I wish. I wish I would have been more strict, more disciplined with me in my state of enlightenment, because then it's too late, and I can't do anything for you. Now, those who live in Kashi, it's different. Kashi is the only place on the planet when you are there, your body is dying, your body is burning, you do experience enlightenment. That's the promise of Shiva. Shiva is this light being who crossed the veil and who stood in the Himalayas for humanity and who cry and that, that drop of tears is the Rudraksha that we sell to you. These Rudrakshas have medicinal powers. Plus, it's the tear of Shiva when he saw the suffering of humanity. And he promised, when you come to Kashi, even at the last moment, nano moment, a few seconds, 
you will taste the taste of enlightenment. My suggestion to you, yes, you can do what Shiva says. I invite you to start being it now. Prepare the planet for the new era. Prepare the planet for the new kids that's coming. What is the legacy that you intend to leave to your, to your lineage from now on? Whether you have made children or no, that's not the point. It's the children around you. Your energy goes to the newborn. Your energies have no boundaries. The ripple goes to newborn children. I do have huge compassion for young parents because your children know way more than you. It's not to laugh at, no. You don't know how to educate them. Even to carry a child is not easy today because of the frequency. It's not easy to educate children who are coming with new strains of DNA and different quality of DNA. They become the masters. So step up. Darshan is coming. Come with all your kaka, come with everything. That's what darshan is for. Be vulnerable, be humble, be open and be free. So you can receive everything from different galaxies, different universes, from source itself. To transform your consciousness for you to be the embodiment of love, for you to be the embodiment of light, for you to be the embodiment of source in this one field of oneness. <laughs>